Hey guys, if you are new, welcome. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. I'm still trying to figure out what time I'm going to be posting regularly, so please remember to ding that bell, that way you are notified for future videos. First, I want to say Happy Halloween to everybody. Today, I have a very last minute Halloween makeup look that can honestly go with any clothing you want, and this can be for guys or for girls. So if you're interested in finding out how to look like a corpse, then just keep watching. This takes almost like no time. I think it took me 15 minutes last year. So last year I did two videos for my channel, but I didn't end up wearing either of those looks on Halloween. I actually ended up with something super simple because I don't believe I had time to fully get ready so um, I just threw on something super fast so that is what I'm going to show you today I'm going to show you what I did last year so first I'm just going to completely prime my face next I'm going to use my NYX high-definition eyeshadow base Next I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics foundation and concealer color palette. I believe these are the light shades because I think there's a, I have both of them. There's a light and then there's a dark. I could be wrong. There may be more, but I think this is the light one because it has a bunch of like really light shades. And I am going to go in with the lightest shade. Now I'm going to put that all over my face. I'm not going to do like a thick layer or anything like that. This is honestly just to like tinge my face a lighter color. Now that my face is significantly whiter than my body, I am going to go in with a little bit darker shade. I'm gonna go in with the third color in here, and I'm just gonna go over that a little bit. By the way, I am in a tank top only because this room is super hot. Otherwise, for this outfit, I would probably wear like a long sleeve shirt like I did last year. That way I can really like cover up my tan body with my really white face and plus I was walking around at night and so it was pretty cold so I also make sure to go over my eyes and underneath my eyes. Next I fully powder my face. Next I'm going to take this Morphe 35C palette. I actually don't know if this palette is still available. I don't remember seeing it on their website, but basically you just need like a gray black and that's pretty much in all palettes so or, or I'm sure you can find a palette that has a dark gray or even a lighter gray, just some sort of gray. So I'm going to go in with this lighter gray shade on a larger blending brush and I'm going to put that right in my crease. And honestly this is going to be like super sloppy so don't even worry. You want to get it really into that corner and just blend and blend and blend and blend. I'm going to take that on my lower lash line as well. And I'm going to take this down, I don't know what this is called, like the bags line, whatever this line is, right in here. I'm basically trying to make myself look so tired and dead. With whatever is left on the brush, I'm then going to kind of swipe under my eye area just to darken it a little bit, like very little bit. See how that's just kind of shading it a little bit? And don't worry about things looking patchy because a dead person doesn't have good skin or good makeup or anything like that. And I'm also going to take it like really up onto the sides of my nose. I really want to darken up that area and like my inner tear duct area. And 
Using the same shade and a contour type of brush, I'm going to go in with this and I'm going to now hollow out my cheeks. just like a contour, but then I'm also going to drag it down. See how if I suck in my cheeks, I kind of create a natural line to my chin? I'm gonna follow that line. And then I'm going to start shading it in going this way. Then take that along your forehead as well. If you're going to show your body a little bit, like maybe your chest, then you can lift up your shoulders and then put some darkening shades in these creases and right underneath your collarbone to really create some shadows really pop out those bones. You can also take that on your neck. See how I can see like lines on my neck? I think I'm gonna go like right here, right here, and down the sides of my neck a little bit. I also concealed my lips. With the same gray, I then also went in on my lips a little bit, large blending brush, and I kind of just darkened up my lips again being sloppy about it. With a pencil brush, I went into the very center. And down my lip a little bit. That completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, I don't even know what to call it, dead man walking, zombie, corpse, I don't know. Like I said, you can just do like a long sleeve or torn up clothing or whatever you'd like. This just takes like no time and the clothing would be super easy too. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell. That way you are notified for future videos. Bye guys.